energetic, the vibes was not hidden. Please excuse me. Thank you and enjoy the video. What's up guys, it's me, Eros, you know, the dude, the dude on the street. But I'm about to be showing you guys how to make a melodic beat, um, nothing really much else to say. But other than that, make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Eros Creatives. And yeah, let's just get into it. So I got this little melody that I made. I used a key at the beginning, but I'm gonna change it to a pad and probably add like a electric guitar over it. And I just cut off some of the low ends and some of the high ends. And then with the RC20, I put the space bar up a lot. It's pretty much reverb. I'm gonna take out some of the decay <clears throat> and then widen the sound. Uh, take out some of the high ends. And then I took down the wobble and noise a lot. And I kept the distort the same. That's what it sounds like. Now I'm going to use this plug-in ample guitar. Um, I usually use the acoustic version of this, but this is the electric. And uh, this is what it sounds like. Just a regular uh, electric guitar. I'm just gonna make a melody for it. Now I'm just gonna make another melody that complements the melody that I made. So yeah, I just made this guitar melody, but it sounds kind of robotic because I just drew it in. Um, so what I'm going to do is press Ctrl A and then Alt S to strum the notes. And then uh, Ctrl A again and then Alt R. That basically just uh, randomizes the velocity and the panning if you want to. And yeah, I'm probably going to go in with none and just make some of the notes off time so it sounds realistic.
All right, now that I got the melody all done, I'm gonna go to guitar rig. I'm gonna go to guitar rig, um, go to the styles, and go to jazz. And I use Buzz Michael Clean. It's basically a chorus. Just adds a lot of ambience and reverb and uh, also chorus just to make it sound cooler. Just makes it sound spacey and the chorus just kind of uh, differentiates busy works beats it from the original sound. Um, now I'm gonna go to RC20 because it's like the go plugin. Like if you don't have this, you're sleeping. Um, I'm gonna keep some of the wobble, keep the high end, up the width, and then up some of the space but turn the decay down Alright, so I got another ample guitar, and I just copy and pasted the chords from the pad onto the guitar, and I'm going to add the same effects from the lead um, by right-clicking on the mixer track, go to file, and then save mixer track as, and just dragging it onto there, and this is what it sounds like. Oh lord, just made another one. Back in the mail, it's gone. She like my snare cologne. So I went into context and I got this piano from uh, the giant library. I'm just gonna pick a preset that I like. So I got this piano. It's the preset lots of noise. And basically what I did is just copied the pad notes onto the piano and I just added these top notes right here. And now I'm just going to EQ it by taking out some of the low ends, kind of boosting the mids. And then going to RC20. And uh, turning up the digital and the magnetic. Now I'm just going to lay it out how I lay out my loops do usually is I put all of them in the beginning just playing just so the uh, listener will know what it sounds like when all the loops are put together. And then I just duplicate a bunch of these and then put a space in between and then an instrument, space in between, instrument and just keep on doing that until all the instruments are laid out. So that's basically how I make melodic loops and that's how I lay out my loops. Make sure to follow the Tree Sound channel. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Eros Create.